It's time to tune in and discover the best of K-pop and Korean culture on Radio News. Welcome back. We're going to officially kick off the second half of the show, and it's going to be filled with Final Peg. It's a music therapy session. Well, you know what? Either one of our special guests is going to explain what the segment is all about and soon. So um, let me introduce tonight's guest right away. We are going to be joined by the amazing musicians, idols. Well, what else should I use? What else? What, 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 what? Trailblazers, pioneers, mm. one of a kind. Thank Incredible. you so much for finishing up that sentence. Yeah. Yes, we are joined <laughs> by Alexa and Vinci here. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, okay. Uh, hi, I'm Alexa, and I'm not bald on the side. It's just because <laughs> my hair is pink underneath, and it looks like I'm bald on the side. Until you bald. mentioned that, I wasn't even aware of that, actually. I was extremely aware of it because <laughs> the monitor was staring right at me, and I'm like, oh, I look bald on the side. Okay. Well, you know what? Um, full disclosure, when I first saw you today, I was like, what's up with that sushi-looking like hair stuff she got going on today? Is because you kind of look like a rice with if seaweed on top like of it. If it was then like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'd be very topop-ish. All right, anyway, uh, Vinci, who, uh, not Vinci, who are you, sir? <laughs> yeah. I am, okay, I'm just going to spell it out. Yeah. For those people who don't know how to spell it, it's V-I-N-C-I of Horizon. Yeah. Vinci of Horizon. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, next question, how's life? Life has been, <laughs> it's hot. It it's, is. It's been, it's the been weather has hot, yes. been, mm. you know, it's been feeling like We're having for weather. Right. Right. A bit ish. Feels a lot more like summer these days. Yeah, it, it does. Uh, so, uh, you know what, in that regard, I would like to ask you guys another question. What's your favorite season? Uh, Korea is known for having four distinct seasons, yeah. you know, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Yeah, and I feel like Korea just has summer and winter. <laughs> right, it kind of changed <laughs> over time, yeah, because but of like, the air pollution like and all that. But fall, autumn, because yeah. oh, okay. it's like almost, almost super cold, but not super cold. But not like bone chilling cold. Yeah, mm-hmm. not like you need a padding cold because mm-hmm. the padding is so how cold a is hassle. That? Yeah. Pa- oh, it, it's very oh. Like six, uh, 15, mm-hmm. 16. Oh, so like 16, 17. Yeah, that's that's the sweet spot for me. Mm. How about you guys? Man. Because it's, you... it's my first time experiencing winter from the past winter. <gasps> yeah, that was my oh. first winter. My first snow and all of that. Romantic. I would freeze to that if I don't go out with my petting on in that weather, in that kind of weather. Well, um, well, if you have like thick jackets, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would suffice. Mm-hmm. But sometimes yeah. when it's zero, you just need that very heavy padding mm-hmm. that you don't know how to put away when you're mm-hmm. eating at a restaurant. Yeah. Like, okay. Which chair? Okay. I have this habit of if it's cold and like I know like I only have to brave the cold for maybe uh-huh. 10 minutes while walking but mm-hmm. I'm going to be yeah. inside for the rest of the night I just won't bring a coat. Oh. Uh, I just deal survival with Survival mode. I, oh. I hate bringing things that are clunky. I mean, yeah. Like, we all hate that. Yeah. But. So I just... But we just do it because we can't endure the cold <laughs> weather. I just force myself to do it. Wow. But are you someone who puts your um, hands in your pockets when it's winter time? Yes. Because I do, and I see a lot of Koreans walking down the street, and their their hands are just like free. They're like, and I'm, I'm like, like, are oh, they not cold? My hands are turning red and itching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so i'm like maybe there was a t- you know there's training involved right. in that you know mm-hmm. because uh, since their childhood they've been exposed to winter and mm. you know what i got a good advice for you actually was that uh, during the winter time that this is what i do every winter but uh what i do is i usually bring a set of blanket out on my way out uh. home i usually take it wherever i go i just keep it in my car when the weather gets real cold i just put it on huh. as if it's a cape I use a scarf <laughs> sometimes at that. At no, sc- I'm not talking about scarf. I'm talking about the <laughs> bl- blanket oh, like we used to. Blanket? Yes. Oh. You should try it sometime. Okay. It actually works fine. Well, we Are you listening? We used to keep blankets in like my like manager car. So like when I would go like two of the schedules, I would use those. I'm not talking about one of those thin blankets, you know. You're talking about those muruk right? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, talking about those huge blankets. I can't yeah. do that though. <laughs> it's the funny thing about Korea yeah. is when it's winter time, everything, yeah. every heater is on. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> like, true. Yeah. Yeah. But, like I clothe myself in thick clothing <laughs> to brave the cold, and then you're gonna right. give me 
Nanbang, right? <laughs> Nanbang, <laughs> Nanbang. Like, it's so hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. So shopping during winter time is uh-huh. absolutely the sweatiest time to be the shopping. I think so. Time yeah. 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 Well, anyway, Alexa, I heard you got a good news to share soon. I do. Uh, today it is May 22nd in Korea right now. It might be the 22nd somewhere else abroad. But in two days, on May 24th, my new single, I'm OK, is finally coming out. Yay! Yay! First song, what's that song about? Um, It's just kind of like a love letter from me to anybody suffering with mental health because, you know, it's, it's, it's rough out here in these streets sometimes. Um, but I wrote this song, co-wrote this song with one of my producers last year in September. Great. Uh, performed it at the Jingle Ball tour ah, last year. It's great. been six months, but yeah. hey, it's finally getting released. Yay. Congress what took you so long to finally release it, though? Oh, it wouldn't have taken me long. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 wouldn't have taken her long. Yeah. It was okay. Oh. okay, anyway, guys, mark your calendar. Once again, it's May 24th. Her new single, oh. I'm OK, is going to be dropped that day. All right, with that... Well, I'm going to ask one of you to explain what this segment is all about. Okay, final pick is a corner where you, s- our listeners, send in messages that we suggest songs to, and then we can have discussions about it, you know, find solutions maybe. Sometimes we don't, sometimes we do. Mm-hmm. Let's just have an enjoying musical therapy together. Thank you yeah. so much. That was awesome. Thank you. Very Whoa. eloquent. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know what? Shall we move on to the first message right away then? Mm-hmm. Finchy, take okay. it yes. away. This is from Shimejinim. Dear DJ Sam, Alexa, and Vinci, I'll be turning 30 this coming Saturday, and it feels like I'm having another quarter life <laughs> crisis. Oi, <gasps> been there. Not yet me. I never worried about my age until now, but as 30 approaches, I feel scared and like life is passing by too quickly. Normally, I view May as my new year, but this time I'm hesitant to move forward, mainly because of what happened at work. I recently celebrated my seventh work anniversary and things seem to be going well. In March, an exciting opportunity arose with a mission program backed by an international organization. I applied, had an appro- had a proposal approved, and oversaw the project in April, which was successful. However, I was disheartened to learn that I wouldn't be part of the delegation representing the program. Numerous reasons were given for my exclusion, making me question my efforts and decisions. Despite trying to convince myself that it's okay and there might be other opportunities, I feel sad and angry. What do you think I should do? Hmm. Interesting. But one thing for sure is this has nothing to do with your age, I think. Yeah. It has yeah. to do with something else, so uh, you don't have to think about your age in this case, I yeah. guess. Well. Any advice from you, too? Alexa, maybe you guys are about the same age, I assume? What? Oh! <laughs> yeah. What? oh. yeah, the sender oh. and you. I yeah. thought you were being Vinci. I was like, no, no there's a bit of a gap there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm I mean, you're making your way to the end of 20, so. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm turning 28 this yeah. year, so, okay. Felt. Um, So, I mean, I am, what, two years younger than this right. person? Mm. Um, You know... Sometimes the things you want to do for work will not always suit you. And, like, you know, sometimes you work hard for something, you wind up getting into, you know, this, uh, like, the, the business you want to go into, the, the, the law firm you want to get into, the company you want to get into. Mm. And then you find out that it's not all that it was cracked up to be. And, I mean, in my opinion, that just means it's an opportunity to close one door and open a new one. Um, I mean, recently, I currently have a friend right now in Korea who's visiting from Germany, and uh, she just, I guess, recently applied for a new job while she was in Germany, and then, like, a couple days ago, she got an email saying she got the job, and so, you know, her current position is kind of the opposite of this. She's, you know, quitting her former job and joining a new one, but, like, I say that just to be like, it can be done. You can quit a job and then go get a new one if you're not going to be happy with your current position. Oh, yeah, that's a very realistic solution. But uh, I think that was a good one. And mm. what about you, Vinci? Well, I'm assuming um, Shimejinim is doing good in their work because it's, you know, they're seven years in the company. And I'm assuming they'll be, they'll be doing good if you're in the company for seven years. Mm. I think there's something good happening there. And I think this situation 
it is a disappointing one because of course you want to do bigger things as you progress inside a company mm -hmm. but maybe if you look at it as not a limit like this thing the situation because you've been doing good for seven years and imagine if it, during those past seven years you felt this way then you wouldn't have reached your seven Mm -hmm. work anniversary so i think everything's going well so maybe you just need to really pass through this but it is i do get that your feelings are very valid because mm -hmm. it is very frustrating to feel um still underappreciated especially mm -hmm. if you've given this much work and yep. you know effort in your work mm -hmm. i do get it yeah. okay but and uh, lastly, I would like to share a Korean saying. We have this term called uh, in this culture. What that means is uh, if you experience one hardship or one failed, here comes a bigger success in the future. Mm. So just look oh, for like a bright that. future. Nice. Once again, is a term we have. And uh, with that, shall we recommend songs for this person? Shimeji. Yeah. Vinci, you go yeah. first. Okay, I brought in La La by Winner Song Benin. Mm -hmm. And. It's a very carefree vibes type of song. Mm -hmm. It's all about singing loudly la la until everything. Now I'm curious how the chorus line goes. Goes la 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 I think. Or oh, something okay. like that, yeah. Or okay. we'll find out, yeah? I like how we both broth. Broth? <laughs> both? Both? You want broth? Bro <laughs> you want like some, <laughs> you want some books? Would you want like some broth in the summer? <laughs> <laughs> you like some broth? <laughs> It was my chef voice. Yes, uh, I suppose. Yeah, more, no. Okay, now um, on to you, Alex <laughs> I was trying to say, I love how we both brought in songs from older groups. Technically, mine is uh -huh. a redebut group, they're, but it's still OG. They're in the era of. Yeah. Uh, the I brought in Please Don't Be Sad, but I like it. Hey, please don't be sad. I won't lie, though. When I first started reading your story, I'm like, ah, I gotta bring in 30 Sexy by Rain. <laughs> but Why? then I kept reading. Ah. Oh, because of the age. <laughs> you know? But then yeah. I was like, oh, no, wait, that's Happy not birthday, gonna work. Though. So happy early birthday, happy considering early you said birthday. it's a Saturday, so. Oui. Yeah. But uh, please don't be sad. Yay. Don't be sad, Charlie. All right, with that, shall we take a listen to these two songs recommended by our guests? We're gonna begin with La La by Winner, chosen by Vinci, mm -hmm. followed by Olgur Tsipriji Marao, Please Don't Be Sad by Highlight, chosen by Alexa. Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot of you guys are also confused about the number of viewers on YouTube live chat today. Yeah. Is, all I can say for now is uh, the number is not correct in today's show. The, during the first half, we only had like six to seven listeners. But on YouTube live chat, I saw way more than that. So I assume it's some sort of bug going on. Yeah. Yeah. Due to their update, be. I just got this info from one of our listeners, Alexander uh. One. He said something about update going on in YouTube. And mm. this could be the problems related to it. Anyway, um, before we move on. I saw a lot of you guys came up with some great advice for the previous message sender and uh, let us cover a few. Uh, Wendy says, to be honest, I'm not sure to have understood the entire story slash problem properly, but in any case, Sander, you're still the same person whether you're 29 or 30, so don't worry too much about it. True. I mean, when I just reached the age of 30, I was like, yeah! beginning fresh up this i mean i'm all starting all over again i have this refreshing feeling that i never mm. felt before as 29 year old who's about to turn 30 so um you're gonna enjoy being 30 mm. i can say i tell you that and uh, maybe another one do you guys want to this is from anything? adrian okay sender if you weren't able to be part of your company's delegate roster just remember that there must be a reason why it wasn't granted they might be planning to bless you with bigger things true yeah true true you know that's not the biggest thing that could happen mm -hmm. maybe in the future there are more mm -hmm. doors for you yeah that will open mm -hmm. and then uh vam 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 vinci vam vinci vam vinci's funko says don't be disheartened by this setback but remember this isn't the end of your journey rejection is redirection where perfect Ooh. opportunity is out there waiting for you keep Love moving that. forward i like that great rejection is redirection i'm gonna keep oh, that oh wow back Yay. and one more from uh, jelaine salvador i guess you should accept the way things went and at the same time acknowledge your hard work because there are new opportunities that'll come eventually if mm. it's for you it's for you well, thank you yeah. so much to all of you guys thank for participating you. and hope these advice helped you in any way, Shimaji. With that, we are going to move on to the second message. And this time, Alexa is going to read the message for all of us. Yes. Uh. 
Let's go. All right, this comes from Horizon 2600. Name. Hello. I had a five-year relationship that ended four years ago. So, mm. okay, gotcha. Math. Okay, math was mathing. We broke up because I had to study far from him, but that was just an excuse. He was my rock during my parents' separation and at my lowest moments. When we graduated junior high, he went to study elsewhere. Although it was hard, I supported him. After senior high, I received a scholarship far from him, which became my reason to leave. I struggled to tell him because he did nothing wrong and was the kindest person I knew. We still saw each other with our friends and maintained a no-label type relationship for over a year. When I, moved to, when I moved for university, he was my confidant, and I realized I still loved him. However, I found out he blocked me on social media and had a new girlfriend, leaving me without closure. I hated him for not telling me and not giving me answers. Four years later, he graduated and got a job. I'm proud of him, but it still hurts that he left without a word. I also blame myself for breaking up with him. Do you have any advice on how I can close this chapter and forgive myself? Hold on, I'm trying to do the math. Hold on, I'm, the time, I'm trying to timeline things. So it happened nine years ago? No. Everything, I mean... Four years ago. I mean, I'm going back to the beginning. Oh, the beginning. Oh, the beginning. Oh, the beginning. at the very yeah. beginning. Yes. Uh, so. I guess everything started nine years ago, yeah. So, you said, hold on, junior high... So, junior high, which means... Yep. What what grade is junior high? Because I'm American. Probably junior high. Is junior high. That's uh when they're usually fourteen, 14 to 15, 16. sixteen. Oh, okay. So I'm I mean, about seventh grade. Like uh, ninth, so I mean, yeah. you weren't really in your adult life yet. Plus, this is four years ago, babe. Like, whereas I mean, yeah, it's it's cruel and unusual and stupid mm -hmm. that he blocked you on social media mm -hmm. just to hide the fact he was dating another girl. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if you had already broken up with him at this point. Mm -hmm. There's no strings attached. There's mm -hmm. no more strings attached. I mean, granted, I know what it's like to break up with someone or mm -hmm. to be broken up with and still have feelings, but the past is in the past, babe. You can't keep holding on to stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to yeah. it's gonna grow and fester, and it's mm -hmm. not going to be good for your soul your, mm -hmm. or your spirit. So, Well, Chris Rose, who's listening to the show, sent in a very relatable comment. He says, ah, kid's love story. Young love when every emotion is 200% more intense. Oh, that's true. So that true, true, right? Oh. That's true. Yeah. So can you tell us about your puppy love, maybe from puppy the past? Love. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think when everything was a lot more intense than now. Oh, uh, because yeah. from back then, yeah. I I do attest to that that yeah. I have not felt the feelings that I felt when I was in mm. my 16, right. mm -hmm. 17, 18. Mm -hmm. Those times, you felt everything right. deeply. Hormones. Yeah, Yay. you just <laughs> felt everything. You just. Felt like the world is going to end because it didn't reply mm -hmm. as fast as you would expect. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think a lot of those moments are encapsulated in this message mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because so back then it was like that for me too, and okay. I expected maybe if this doesn't happen now, then when will it happen? Mm -hmm. And then I fast forward to now, it's like I'm fine without anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like you know myself and doing with what i got mm -hmm. for myself okay well you're, I think so, yeah. they're just really yeah. stuck up on this yeah. thing when they've already ended things with them and i guess there's no proper closure i guess mm -hmm. but and yeah. to bounce off of you know what i see people in the comments saying and also what one of their last lines was was you know i blame myself for breaking up with them mm -hmm. it's no you broke up with him. That's not something to take blame for. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, ending a relationship is not something to be blamed mm -hmm. for. Like That's like gaslighting yourself. Exactly. Like, had he still been deeply in love with you or something and was, you know, telling you, oh my God, why did you do that? How could you break my heart like this? Then I would understand the mm -hmm. guilty conscience. But clearly he moved on. Yeah. So there's nothing that you should feel guilty for. And if you felt that way, I think that's what they're expecting for you to feel oh. so that means they've succeeded bro. don't feed their ego yeah because oh, they blocked you had a new girlfriend mm -hmm. so of course they want you to feel that regret that okay blame yourself for breaking up with me look mm -hmm. at me i blocked you you feel bad yeah that's what you get so don't give them that satisfaction i know you want closure but yeah. hear me i i still don't have closure from a relationship that i had that lasted like a year and a half granted years was five years but again Teenage years, mine was in my adult life. Mm. I still don't have closure from that. So you can just learn to get on without closure. I promise. 
I promise it's possible. Well, thank you so Do much. It. Well, I would love to add one more thing. The only reason you're clinging on to this boyfriend that you had in the past, well, I'm going to start referring to him as your ex, is because, well, technically he was your ex. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's only because you, it happened, all, it all happened when you were so young. And memories, things happen when you were so young, tend to last for a long period of time. And there's no way you're going to, well, move on from it mm-hmm. and, unless you actually decide to move on from what happened in the past. So uh, just move on Mm -hmm. is probably what I can say to you right now. Mm -hmm. Because if you come to think of it later, uh, later afterwards in your life, it's probably nothing. And eventually. So, um, Mm -hmm. well, that was me. And I guess it's about time we recommend sauce for this one. Mm. (laughs) Well, okay, starting out. I mean, this is just the most loving piece of advice I can give you. And I do Mm -hmm. mean this with my heart and soul. Uh, The song I brought in is Life Goes On. By oh. BTS, by Punk Pants and Real Dance and Lee. Great choice, great choice. Quite literally, life goes on. It's mm. not the end of the world. And again, you were so young. I know what it's like to have that 16 year old, 17 year old heartbreak. Trust me, my boyfriend in high school cheated on me. So I know what it's like. But, Juicy. baby, life goes on. Life yeah. goes on, baby. Don't worry about it. What yeah. about you, Betty? And for me, this is Alas Goodbye by Akmu to Many. And I just think you just really need to say your last goodbye to this. I think it's a situation ship. Because no label relationship, it got to that point. I think that's just very situation ship p. So please say your last goodbye to that. Move on and have a better life ahead. Thank you so much for recommending. With that, we are going to have a listen to these two songs and come back for the final messages. Uh, not messages, J. Uh, <laughs> life Goes On by BTS, chosen by Alexa. This is the first song we're going to be hearing. And the second one is Last Goodbye, Oren Na Oren Bam by Akmu, chosen by Benchi. We just heard Life Goes On by BTS, chosen by Alexa. And the next song was Last Goodbye, Oren Na Oren Bam by Akmu, chosen by Benchi. And just like the first message, a lot of you guys sent in wise words regarding the second message. So, Sender, if you are here with us right now, refer to YouTube live chat if you need more advice from our wise listeners. Anyway, I saw an interesting comment from one of the listeners. This had nothing to do with the messages. Uh, K-K-G-H-I-B-L-I-L-I-F-E says... Chi, please make a special video about what's inside your bag. Ah. We are so curious. I see, because uh, we just released a what's in your bag for, with the whole group, and uh. my member who was filming that time yeah. forgot to press record. For oh you? Oh my me. god. Ah. So I was explaining my bag, and my bag was the most, you know, scrumptious bag really? yeah. from uh, compared to everyone. Because you know, every- we might as well just do it right now then. My back's outside, oh, though. No. And there's a lot. We would pass the everything mark. Oh, Maybe man. next time I can show some stuff from our back. Okay, next week. Be yeah. ready. How about we change it a little bit and do some, like, uh, what's in your pocket instead of bag? Uh, there's only one thing in my yeah. pocket right now, and it's a, a gloss from my mirror. <laughs> 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 you know, you got to keep it colorful for the camera. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Because so, I wore my stylist clothes too, right, right, right. so it's not my actual okay. clothes. Thank you so <laughs> much for sharing. I guess that's about it. Um, well, your name was way too long to read, so I <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to call you by life. Um, Alexa, what do you have in your pocket today? I got nothing in my pocket. Oh. They don't make women's pockets deep enough. But there really? is a lot happening in her ears. Yeah, I've, I got another piercing that I just uh, okay. Today? Yeah, I got this one here in the car. Is it not like... I mean, you oh, already geez. have like a million piercings on your ears, so we yeah. can't really tell if you got a new one or not. Well, I got yeah. dinner with my family a lot. Okay. A new cartilage one. So. Uh, great, great, great. Okay. Yay, more holes in the body. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just put a rock side on that. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, with that, we're going to move on to the third message. It's from Horizon underscore love. Mm-hmm. I'm a foreigner living in South Korea, and I've been living here for a long time, so I speak Korean uh, really well. People around me find it fascinating. Many language school teachers have praised my pronunciation. That's how confident I am in Korean. I even dream and express surprise in Korean by saying, <gasps> oh, no. oh, but here's the problem. Because I've been living in Korea for so long, I keep forgetting my native language. Oh, when I talk with my old friends from school, I often find myself saying, what's that word? Then my friends get upset and say I've changed. And my conservative parents now want me to leave Korea and live together elsewhere. I love South Korea. It's just that I happen to speak Korean well. I don't think I've changed. 
Have Alexa and Vinci ever faced similar concerns? And I'm also worried about how to convince my parents. Mm-hmm. Oh. Interesting. Well, I hope that's my problem right now because I would really need some expert Korean level skills. Mm. <laughs> but I think I relate to this, but I think it's for my English. Ah, uh, okay. A bit, but not too much. Like when I, because back in the Philippines, I used to just consume English Correct. content. And then here now, I try to consume as much Korean, Korean content, content. Mm. than I normally would. Mm. So uh, that has been a bit a struggle for my English skills. I do feel it. It, mm. it happens mm. a bit. My grammar and stuff, mm. and mm. the way I speak. You. Well, I mean, the thing is, the two languages like I speak are like English and Korean. Mm. But like I know a little bit of other languages like enough to be like borderline conversational but like never you know survivable Mm -hmm. in that country but the the thing is with me i've started learning languages since i was a kid and it's a blessing and a curse but i have a very good memory Mm. and so occasionally i'll be thinking in one language and i can't think of the word but then i'll say in a different language i'm like Uh no that's spanish that's not what i'm trying to say lost in translation like it gets (laughs) it gets confusing in my brain like i obviously still remember how to speak english because that's Mm. like my native tongue but like I will forget words and I will forget like synonyms or like certain uh, terminology for things every now and then and I have to look it up and I'm like, this is my first language. I can never do this. That happens a lot of time in my yeah. life too. When I try to speak Korean, I sometimes forget how to speak Korean. It and happens. especially during the morning when my brain is not properly <laughs> functioning. When it's foggy I, still. And uh, there, here comes all. Here is always a time when I have to make an important call to a. Yeah. And for for example, A and R of a record yeah. label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've been trying to make my uh, make my tricks for other artists recently. And the thing is, when I call them during the morning, I always stutter. Even mm. when I speak Korean, I was like, yo 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 and um, it takes some time to recover. And uh, I guess this has nothing to do with the problem this person sent in. So um, yeah. how should this person convince his or her parents? I mean, yeah? I just, I don't understand why your parents would yeah. be concerned. You're just mm. learning another language. And clearly, if you've been here for as long as you've been, you know, I don't really know a time period, right. but you said a long time. Mm. And clearly, you're healthy. You're, you're living your life. You're doing you good. must have a stable right. job or something and a good friend group to keep yourself stable out here. So I don't understand why your parents would be concerned. Because this person is forgetting his <laughs> or her <laughs> native tongue. Uh, but I mean, then, I don't know, maybe make phone calls with your yeah. parents more, like with mm-hmm. friends or maybe siblings mm-hmm. that you have back in your home country and mm-hmm. just, you know, keep practicing that way, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, in this person, too, I think it totally depends on what kind of person this person hang out with, I guess. Mm. And the reason I assume, uh, this is just my personal opinion, but the reason why I speak a perfect Korean is because I think you've been spending quite a lot of time with, with local, Koreans? yeah, Koreans. Yeah. Because most of Kyopos, we call it um, second generation, they usually yeah. hang out with themselves only yeah. or with the foreigner <laughs> friends who happen to reside in South Korea. Yeah. And eventually they leave South Korea without even being able to speak a word of Korean. Oh. That happened to a lot of my friends for really? instance there was this one time i was actually saving this story for friday oh. uh so uh he's been living in south korea for a long period of time i'm not going to expose his name because that's privacy Darn. and uh <laughs> that was when he just arrived in south uh-huh. korea right and it, this one day he felt really sick so he decided to hit the hospital and yeah. then he didn't speak a word of korean so uh, and unfortunately the doctor didn't speak a word of english oh, so okay. after giving him diagnosis in korean and him giving this confused look to the doctor because he obviously did not even understand a word of what he said to him, right? And the, uh, and unfortunately, the only English word that the doctor knew was "you will die," <laughs> <laughs> you will die. And and he, was he and he got shocked. And turns <laughs> out, he luckily found one of the patient happened to speak fluent English. Amazing. Turns out, what he originally meant was, uh, if you don't take care of yourself, your condition is going to eventually get worse. So you should learn how to take care from more from now on. And it has nothing serious to do with your body. Well, up until now, if it wasn't for that person, he would Wait, have. Thought- have no clue what that yeah. was all about. Anyway, I completely went sideways on this. But the thing is, Horizon underscore love, you're doing a perfect job yeah. adapting to this country. So mm-hmm. I think you should stay in South Korea. Stay we could use us. a great foreigner <laughs> like yourselves in this country as well. All right. Anyway, with that, we are going to wrap up tonight's show with my recommendation for you. 
And I don't even know why I brought this one over, but <laughs> even being able to just just being able to speak one fluent language is already a blessing uh, to a lot of people. Horizon love, so I would love to recommend this one. One featuring Chison by Epic High and call it a day. This was your DJ Samuel's Hall along with our special guest Alexa and Vinci, and we're gonna say goodbye all together in three, two, one. Multilingual. Bye. Bye.